everyone and welcome back I got up here from the camper earlier today right now it's 49 degrees I don't know how low it's gonna get but I do have a project I want to get started tomorrow so I'm gonna get myself to bed big boy big boy what are you doing Good morning everybody. Today I decided I want to start on that front room in front of the workshop. I don't even care if I get the front wall done on it. I need the two side walls and I'd like to get that roof done. Before the snow falls, don't know if I'm going to fit that all in. I'm mean, just a couple weeks until duck hunting. And, <laughs> and then there's deer hunting and you know you never know when winter's going to come. But I was just trying to see if I had some of those big uh, nuts to go on those bolts. I've got the washers that I need Years ago, they always used those bolts and I, we would have tons of those just laying around and throw them in the dumpster And now I don't have any of them, but I always have to pick some up Next time I go into the store. I know I have some somewhere around here. I just don't know where It's like a little green box, I think, like this that has some in there. I just don't seem to be able to find them. At work, we're refacing a deck, and all of these old green treated deck boards, two by six, were there. And instead of putting them in the dumpster, I cut them into nine, eight, and seven foot pieces. And I'm going to use some of these for the studs. First thing I have to do is figure out what my wall height is going to be and to do that I know that with my new rafter going up here I'm gonna I'm gonna want to have a piece of metal underneath here I don't know if it'll be this kind of metal and then my metal roof will slide underneath this and then on the other side we'll just cut it in and slide the metal in but I need to know what the pitch of this roof is so what I did is I took my level and I leveled a straight line down right here and then I just take my speed square, put it like this here, and it's clearly exactly a 412. Yeah, I know I'm going to do 2x6 rafters, so my rafter will come up. I'll just have a 2x6 there for the uh, ridge, and it'll come down this side. What I need to figure out is, like here is the, the roof on the actual workshop here and then we have our piece of metal that I'm going to slide underneath I need to figure out how far down I have to have this rafter so that everything works out and then I can figure out I know that I'm going to have a little three inch bird's mouth here and I know that my wall is going to sit right here so I, I'm going to have two by six rafters but on top of that to do a metal roof we're going to have to put either a deck board which gets me up an inch or I can do two by material, which will get me up an inch and a half, and then the metal roof. And that metal roof is roughly an inch, inch and an eighth. So I need to be dropped down that far and still have room to put my piece of metal in here like this. I measured the other roof. If I use deck boards to do this, I need to be down two inches would be tight. I would want to for sure be down farther than that, so another inch. And I think what I'm going to do is go down two and a half inches. Then I can put one uh, two by material or a deck board one by material on top of here. You know, I'll have that option. 
So when I set this up, this is where that piece of metal is up there, and this is what I would want it set at. I have to drop down three and a half inches. Now that I know my final wall height, I'm gonna have a double top plate on this wall, so I need to come down three inches. That'll be my two plates. And I already have my green treated on the foundation, so my stud length is going to be 71 and a quarter. Originally, when I thought about doing this, I thought we'd have the walls and then I would just get trusses to go across here. It'd be easier for me. And then of course now you have to wait so long to get them. So, and and my, my biggest problem is I wouldn't have been able to do a flat across truss unless I were to hand make the front door because now our studs were 71 and a quarter. That means we're at 72, 74, 75 and three quarter all the way up to here and with the door you're talking 82 inches 81 to 83 right in there so by hand framing this roof and keeping a keeping this open i can't fit a regular door right in this corner i don't want it right in the center but i can slide it over to here to where i can fit a regular 3-0 door and I don't have to worry about cutting the door down, which it's gonna be a metal door. You wouldn't wanna do that. So that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. The first wall is all framed up. Just need to put some sheathing on there, which I don't have. I'll have to pick that up. This one's gonna be a little harder because I'm gonna have to move a bunch of that wood pile right there, so <laughs> I'm not really like, looking forward to that. Melissa, for work today, she had to drive all the way, quite a ways up north, so I'm gonna meet her eventually for lunch somewhere over in Duluth. for lunch.
<laughs> Someone wants to go for a ride. <laughs> Well, that's enough for today. Once I get the other side rafters up there, then I'll run some collar ties across to keep this from sagging. Even though it's a pretty short span, I mean, everything will be supported underneath this with the wall. And over here, I'm gonna lag right into the truss, which is sitting on the steel beam right up underneath there, so that'll be supported real solid also. Good morning everybody. I'm running up to the store. Melissa is going to make a whole bunch of uh, spaghetti sauce today and can it. And there's a few things that she needs up there, so I thought I would get it done right away this morning so I can get back out on the little building outside of the workshop. What I'm doing right now is putting on the collar ties. And the reason why you do this, and I, I posted some of these pictures of me building this on uh, the community Facebook page. And I have the two by sixes here at 32 inches apart and somebody commented, well, they look like they're too far apart. Well, I'm putting a metal roof on here. So we're gonna have our, we have our two by six rafters. Metal roof's gonna go on top of here. This wall in the front, I don't care about. This is gonna be studded in. The one against the building, we don't care about. That one's going nowhere, that's lagged into it. But in the center, people worry about the snow load. So, you know, it bending down. And to do that, if there's a snow load, eventually it would break. And to do that, it would have to 
push down like this, which would push the wall out, which isn't going to happen in the front, isn't going to happen in the back because every this will all be sheeted. And you really don't have to worry about it too much with such a short roof. This is only about 12 feet out. But by putting a collar tie in here, which back before they had uh, pre-manufactured trusses, you, if you go up in a roof in an older house, you'll see these all over the place. For the snow to push down here and cause it to do this, it can't. Because as it pushes down here, everything pushes equally. And with the collar tie, it then, if it pushes down here, it has to push up here. So it just doesn't give it a chance to really move. I mean, I suppose if, uh, okay, could this separate from the wall? Yes, but I'll be putting a... Uh, hurricane clips on there so it can't so that's why you put the collar tie on there I have no worry now I mean with the steel roof we're gonna have these two by sixes and then there's gonna be a two by four every two feet going you know front to back and then this metal roof will go on top of this the metal roof itself can handle the snow load it's just that if it gets too heavy here can it push this down and that's why you put the collar tie on it keeps that from happening For lunch today, we're doing corn on the cob. It's still in the husk and just wrapped in foil. I soaked it in water for a little while. And then I got uh, New York strip steaks because the ribeyes were $26.99 a pound. And it was ridiculous. <laughs> and then we're gonna have macaroni and cheese.
I think that's enough for today. It's, I think it's pushing 730 right now. That's not bad. I had seven sheets of wall sheathing. And this is, on this side, it's like 12 foot 5 out. The other side, it's 12 foot 1. And the front is 16 feet. And that's, <laughs> using all those little pieces, I did pretty good. That's the only piece I didn't have. And I think I have a scrap in the back of the workshop that'll work there, but I have had just about enough for today. You know what I might do? I think on the sides of this thing, I'm going to put white metal so it matches the workshop barn. But the front, I might do it with the, the old deck boards and match the chicken coop. I'm not sure yet though. <laughs> but I do think that would look pretty cool. I've had this computer bag right here for probably at least eight years. I bought it at Salvation Army, I think. <laughs> and none of the zippers work anymore. So I carry it, it's open like that. So I ordered a new one finally. I've been thinking about it for about two years and it should be delivered tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get it before I head down to the camper. Good morning everybody. It's actually almost 11 o'clock right now. Just been inside cleaning stuff up. It's Sunday. And I want to get my tools put in my truck and get this cleaned up partially before lunch. Yesterday I had bought those uh, New York strip steaks and I also bought a couple of cheaper steaks that were in the reduced thing. They were like a bottom round for three and a half dollars a piece and I was gonna do those for lunch, do them in the sous vide and then put them on the grill but with all of the uh, canning stuff Melissa has going on in that little kitchen there is no room. So we just ordered pizza. I'm gonna pick that up at 11.30. Well, that'll have to do until I get back next week. I just piled up all the junk over here. I'll go through it and see what I can burn and what I can't next time I'm up. Well, my computer bag showed up. It is not as heavy duty as my other one. I don't know if it's as big. I'll have to check it all out. I've got that thing, the weather station, resetting for an hour because one of the the temperature part doesn't isn't working. Everything else works, but not the temperature. Got the pizza picked up. It's almost time for lunch. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. It's exactly two o'clock right now. In a few minutes the Monsters of Rock radio show will come on and I'll listen to that until the signal runs out. I 
will see you guys on the next video.